Hello there, my beautiful Libra friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome, my friends. My name is Ria, and I do these readings every week. Now, Libra, this is your energy check-in tarot reading today. I'm going to open your reading with an oracle message, which is also an affirmation deck. Then I'm going to pull uh, three tarot cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. I'm also going to pull a bonus card from the Spirit Animals Oracle deck and an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are watching today, if you've been seeing signs through animals or insects, any kind of repeating numbers or angel numbers, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So stay tuned tuned for all of this my beautiful friends. Now Libra as I'm shuffling these cards I just wanted to mention that I am on Instagram so those of you that would like to follow me there for behind the scenes content I'm at Sacred Knowledge Tarot I have a blue check mark so check me out on Instagram everyone. All right so we are starting here with appreciation as your opening message. So take a look at this Libra appreciation is coming through here so practicing gratitude now the affirmation that you can use for yourself here is I choose to see and appreciate the beauty and value around me I increase my gratitude every day and I am attracting even more to be grateful for so look at that appreciation so I feel there's going to be a lot for you to um, be grateful for in your life I feel the doors are opening for some of you um, you're seeing that light coming into your life it's super exciting so let's go ahead and pull some tarot cards for you as well all right so we are getting the eight of cups so releasing and letting go of all that no longer serves your higher purpose Libra I feel that some of you are making some edits and adjustments in your life perhaps there's something in your life that hasn't been serving your higher purpose and it's now time for you to release and let that go there's a new beginning here for some of you so get ready for that eight of cups to start we have the knight of pentacles so uh, planning and strategizing making those first moves you have to get into action here you have to initiate Libra and I feel there's an opportunity or an offer coming in that you're meant to actually pick up and uh, run with here okay so fast paced movement coming in as well what I also want you to do here is to use your own intuition with my readings so whenever you see my cards popping up on screen Libra I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition not only will this strengthen your intuition but you will also receive your own messages all right so knight of pentacles and two of pentacles so upgrading and leveling up in the world here being resourceful juggling things and breathing through that energy as you rise up Libra what a powerful card to receive this is letting you know that you're reaching a higher frequency and a higher vibration all right so two of Pentacles the focus is on your material world right now Libra so before I start I just wanted to mention here that we all live a different life experience these cards are going to present themselves differently in each of our lives this is also a general reading and may not resonate for everyone today so those of you that are watching if my reading isn't resonating for you please leave it behind so releasing and letting go of things that perhaps some of you have been working on already and are noticing or picking up that it's not working out for you right uh, maybe these are relationships maybe these are habits or things that you're doing in your current life um, that aren't actually benefiting you in any way so you're walking away from them now the other thing I'm picking up on here is distractions so sometimes what happens is distractions will come in and take up our time and energy so you want to be mindful of these because there's going to be a lot around this year in 2024 so Libra finding your center I've been mentioning this in all my readings this is going to be very important as you move through 2024 is to find your center 
ground your energy, breathe through any kind of turbulence or any kind of feeling of being thrown out of your comfort zone. I feel that some of you are going through some sort of a shift. If you actually take a look at the two of pentacles, there's a mountain. This person is climbing a mountain, which can be challenging, right? So some of you might be going through something that is throwing you out of your comfort zone. And as you are um, kind of regaining your balance here, you're letting and releasing uh, things out of your life here, letting go of things and releasing. And I feel this is going to be very powerful for you because not only are you going to feel lighter, but you're making way for new beginnings to come in. Now, the distractions that's coming up again here, they're like, talk about the distractions, Rhea. So some of you are working on projects. Maybe you've been working on something, but you just don't have enough time, as much time as this thing requires in your life. This could be a project. This could be a relationship. This could be anything in your life. And the, it needs your attention, but you're not able to give it because of the distractions in your life. You're being pulled away uh, by different, different energies. So you want to be aware of this because there's something there in your life, uh, Libra, that's meant to actually grow and expand. And without that nurture and care and energy from you, it's not able to grow to its full potential here. So you want to be mindful of what this is in your life. Just take a look around. You're going to know what this is because I feel that you've been trying to put some time into it, but you just haven't been able to. So there's a lot of reasons why. So you want to release some of those reasons in your life because I feel that sometimes we can make up reasons or, uh, you know, we procrastinate or we receive that uh, energy of, uh, you know, uh, the case of the lazies, right? So just be mindful of this because this year for you, there's a lot of growth coming in, a lot of, you know, higher energy, higher frequency where you are ascending to a different level of energy here, Libra. So as you're rising up, the baggage, the burdens that you're carrying right now, some of you, you're meant to actually release them because in order to reach that level, you can't take these with you. So I feel some of you are recognizing that this is actually what's going on, that you're going through this spiritual growth, uh, this ascension, right? And there's a lot that you have to release out of your life. This could be parts of your ego, right? So just being mindful of these energies that they are around and it's now time to really make some edits and adjustments in your life and releasing and letting go of things that have expiration dates. These include relationships and anything that you know isn't working for you right now. So something has come in. I don't know if this is money, if this is some sort of financial opportunity, a course, um, some sort of information. Maybe someone gave you something or someone is kind of joining forces with you, Libra, but I feel that you're making uh, really good progress uh, moving forward at a really good pace here. And as you're doing this, you want to organize everything, okay? Getting your ducks in a row, just understanding that sometimes even a calendar, having a calendar in your home can make the biggest difference. Just a simple thing like that. Uh, organize your lives here. Uh, get everything kind of figure it out here, strategize, plan, look at the future, have a game plan here, Libra, because you're going to see a lot of fast paced movement and you're going to see some of those challenges coming up, which could be things that you maybe overlooked, right? So this is what um, cautionary energy that's coming in is just letting you be aware uh, or reminding you to be aware that some things that you have to really deal with in your life before you can move forward because they may come back to bite you, right? Um, I'm kind of going through this as well in my own life where I'm trying to set up my taxes, my business accounts and getting all my ducks in a row. So that way in the future, I don't have to deal with all of that kind of stuff, especially now that my business is growing right? So I do feel you're going to see a lot of growth. This is a card of success and victory. Um, so really, you are the superhero of your life. This is what I'm getting here. Equip yourselves with knowledge, understand how things work, master what it is that you're wanting to grow in in your life and do it in a way where you understand everything that no one can catch you off guard, that you have a plan and you have, uh, you know, backup plan A, B and C, all these kind of things being prepared, right? This is all it is being prepared for anything that comes your way here. And you're going to see a lot happening here. I'm seeing some of you moving forward really quickly. You're going to claim victory here, Libra. So get ready for this. Um, now this person is wearing a cape. 
Now they're wrapped around in this beautiful energy here, so they're protected. So I do feel there's some learning coming in. And also this person's wearing a helmet, so they're protecting their mind from any kind of distractions, any kind of outside influences, you know, um, criticism, any kind of limiting beliefs, things that are going to throw them off their fat path because they're wanting to stay focused. So again, guard your energy from any kind of external influences, any kind of social media, fear, fear monger stuff, right? Anything that gives you a bad emotion, like not a good feeling, that's your uh, alert system letting you know that, okay, we need to refocus. Let's, let's take a look and see what's going on in my mind here that's creating this emotion or what is it that you're experiencing? And let's shift this focus to something else and allow those emotions to pass out of you rather than holding on to them or suppressing them let them pass through you because that's how you release energy, okay? And look at this, look at this growth, look at this uh, higher level, leveling up, upgrading energy that's coming in. I really feel that some of you are, you know, uh, taking the opportunity to be resourceful, look at all your resources, utilize them, also applying the knowledge that you're taking and applying all the information that you are receiving at this time. Some of you might be a little bit off balance as you're moving along here. So this is where you want to center yourself, ground your energy, take things one at a time rather than feeling overwhelmed by the whole of everything. This is why calendars are really good. This is why uh, organization is going to be really good for you here, Libra. Uh, I remember when I used to never do this. When I first started my YouTube channel, I was kind of like a chicken with my head cut off. I didn't have a schedule. I didn't have a calendar. I was kind of going day by day, figuring things out. I'm like, oh, whatever, we'll see what happens. They kijogi, right? And then my husband introduced me to calendars. And oh my gosh, it's made the biggest difference in my life. And I've been preaching about this on my channel quite a bit. But the most simplest thing that creates the biggest um, effect on your life, a positive effect. So now the other thing I'm getting here for you is you're going to see how things play out. You're going to see how these synchronicities coming in. And there's almost like this spiritual awakening happening for some of you as you're reaching this higher level. Some of you are actually ascending, okay? And the challenges that come with uh, going up and ascending, reaching higher levels of frequency and vibration is some of the things that you have to shake off of yourself that don't belong in this higher vibrational energy. And this can be challenging because perhaps there's something that you need to overcome that has to do with yourself, maybe somebody in your life where you're meant to release and let go. And that's hard for you to do, right? Or you're adjusting to this energy, which can be hard as well. So Again, grounding and centering yourself, breathing through this, allowing yourself to flow with what's coming in rather than resisting it. And you know, anytime we have a challenge or uh, obstacle along our path, that's placed there because we're somebody that is capable of overcoming it. And the reason why it's there is because you are growing and you are evolving, becoming that version of you who's able to receive all the blessings that are coming on the other end of that. So know that you are being put in a place where right now you are leveling up and upgrading and you're going to see yourself reach heights that you have never experienced before, Libra. So own that power within yourself. Not only this, not only are you moving upwards, but some of you are feeling this energy of clarity. You're receiving insights. Perhaps you're dreaming of something that is giving you answers around uh, a question that you've had for a little while. Um, digging, I'm seeing someone digging for information. So you're kind of doing your homework here and really taking in knowledge, skill sets, learning in order to add value to yourself, but help you grow and understand kind of how this world works. The more you know, the better for you, Libra. So understanding how everything works, the government, how that works, how does money work? How does running a business work? How does YouTube work? Like whatever it is getting that knowledge and learning and growing from there. You're going to see yourself reaching levels you've never reached before, my friends. So I'm telling you, there's a lot of growth coming in. And as you're growing, you're releasing and letting go. So allow yourself to release and let go and open yourself up to all the things that the universe is sending your way. Okay, so we are going to now uh, pull a spirit uh, animal oracle card. This is your bonus card, Libra. Some of you have been seeing animals or insects around you. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So 
let's see what we receive here for you today. I'm gonna to split this deck and pull the card from the center. We are getting Badger Spirit. Be fearless and bold. Look at this, this looks like a sassy, creative badger with all the decorative decorations around it. It has the number four on the card. So perhaps this could be a number of significance for some of you. Those of you that are seeing a badger, this is your confirmation. If you haven't seen one, you're seeing one now and you're going to see one. Those of you looking for timing, I'm getting four days, four weeks, four months. Also April being a significant month around the message of this card. So any of the images you see here, anything on this card, you're going to see show up in your life. This could be a feather, yellow flowers, um, a badger, right? So I'm gonna pull the interpretation here. These come with an oracle message and a protection message. I'm going to read them both to you today. So the oracle message for you is, Badger Spirit rejoices at your persistence and commitment to what is true for you, Libra. Whatever you seek, your tenacity and faith in your partnership with spirit is paying off and the results will soon coalesce into form in your world. The gift of badger spirit is to sure is that surety uh, taking a risk now is being courageous, fearless and bold will yield wondrous results. This is a time to harness your will and apply it consistently to the pursuit of your dreams. Know that no matter the temporary outer conditions, you will manifest your desires in divine timing and in the form that spirit deems best for you. Badger spirit says you have what it takes to get what you want. So assert yourself, be fearless and be bold. Shining your light at your purpose calls you into the world. New relationships are also given a green light now. Don't be afraid to make, for, make the first move. Badger spirit loves your brave and mighty heart. So connections are coming in for some of you as well. So be open and receptive and don't be afraid to speak up and talk to people. Protection message for you today, Libra. When Badger Spirit comes to protect you, he reminds you that anger or aggression, argumentative behavior and being pushy or manipulative will not result in a positive outcome. Perhaps someone close to you has access, Badger energy, or perhaps that energy is pent up in you. Either way, now is the time to calm down and allow energy to pass through you. Go for a hike or a brisk walk. Shake it off or dance it out so you can return to the situation determined and committed, but not so intense that you overwhelm yourself and others. The appearance of Badger Spirit also serves as a reminder if you have been relently, relentlessly pursuing something that keeps eluding you. The message is that it's time to surrender it up to your higher power and focus on something else, Libra. Badger Spirit wants to protect you from self-will run rampant, from being obsessed with getting what you want in the form you prefer, in timing that fits perfectly with your notions or of what else has to be. Remember, the world doesn't revolve around your wants. Better, more beautiful opportunities will be result of will be the result when you release some of that badger spirit intensity and along with your need to have it your way 100%. So that releasing and letting go could be a part of that badger spirit for some of you. So look at that. Now I just noticed a, a beautiful earring here. I don't know if any of you are wearing ear, earrings or seeing someone wearing an earring like this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull an angel number for you as well. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers, uh, repeating numbers in your life. This is going to give you your confirmation and guidance today. So let's see what we get for you today, Libra. We are getting foundation, the number four. You're getting the number four twice. So pay attention to the number four here in your life and remember these two messages, Libra. It's time to build solid foundations and the message on here is building a solid base in your life. This is gonna be very important. Your physical body, that base around your, that foundation around your physical body, your health, your work, your relationships, your homes and your values. So there has to be a solid foundation in all of these. 
So if you're able to make a point to actually establish these, you're going to see a lot of good and positive results. And it's just a reminder from the universe, anytime you see the number four, it's now time to, you know, in that moment, see what it is that you are doing in order to lay those foundations. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.